Um, my major is kinesiology. I'm majoring in neurobiology and physiology. Um, well, my major is kinesiology. I think I decided I wanted to pursue a science major and uh, go into pre-med when I was younger. Uh, I always tell my mom I wanted to be a doctor. And I went through a brief uh, stint where I wanted to be a forensic scientist, probably from watching too much TV. But uh, uh, after high school and getting back into uh, science classes, I think I uh, pushed more to wanting to be a doctor to uh, be able to help people. I never really knew growing up what I wanted to do. I knew I loved sports and I wanted to be involved in sports. It wasn't until probably high school in my sophomore or junior year when I decided that pre-med or medical school would be something that really interested me, uh, especially seeing all my friends go through torn ACLs, torn labrums, all the major injuries that are so devastating to athletes. And I thought, wow, it would be so cool to be able to help help give back to the athletic community. And I think the human body is incredibly fascinating, so it was definitely a bring, bring together my two passions. I came in, I really thought I wanted to do physical therapy and go to PT school. Uh, and then I took this anatomy class and the teacher just, she talked a lot about diseases and um, the body and what happens when you get sick and everything. And that just really made me want to go more towards the medical field. And I think just, I always knew I wanted to be in a profession where I'm helping people and around people. So I think that that's what's really drawn me to the medical field. Big in my mind is uh, cardiology because um, being a kinesiology major, you, you learned a lot about the heart and the cardiovascular system. I took an exercise physiology class which focused a lot on the heart and it was super interesting to me and so I think that that's always drawn me to it. Um, I joked with my mom before that the heart, because I'm such a um, caring about people and love is a big part of my life and I everything I do stems off of love, um, whether it be schoolwork, the people I have in my life and so just I think that that's interesting that the heart has been what I've been drawn to. Um, I think coming in I knew it was going to be easy and I think it's a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. Uh, just balancing when getting when I'll be able to get work done and uh, when I'll be able to study for tests and then also get in the gym and work on my game to uh, better myself. I think it's just a lot tougher than I expected um, to balance that time. I think initially it was actually easier than I expected because everyone is constantly saying how difficult it is to be a student athlete and to juggle everything. But I think I had a ton of practice growing up playing three sports my whole life and I traveled with all of them. Um, until my sophomore year of high school, so I knew how to manage my time really well. So coming to Maryland my, my first year, I actually felt like I had a lot of free time compared to what I was used to with only playing one sport instead of three. Um, this year has been a little bit more challenging with more labs and difficult, more difficult classes, but I still think that it's easier to manage as long as you're really effective with your time, which is a skill that I've been naturally blessed with for my life. I normally I wake up around 8 or 9 depending on what class I have that day and then I go to class. So then we have practice, I try to get some shots up after practice. Do our lift, have correctives, whatever the basketball side of things entails for that day. I try to get here as early as possible for practice to get shots up because a lot of time after practice either the men are on or I'm going to class and then um, I might have a class after, I might have a tutor or studying for a test or homework for a lab. Then go back and do a lot of homework and then go to sleep. One thing that I learned very quickly last semester was that I hated having classes after practice. And so I've learned that I schedule all my classes early in the morning before practice so that once practice is over, I can lock into doing homework and getting work done rather than worrying about getting to another class, etc. Uh, all the time, uh, we sit in the room <laughs> wondering uh, why do we put ourselves through this, but then uh, we think back to like why we wanted to do it, and I think that just motivates us, and we keep each other motivated. Yeah, we all three live together. Um, me and Bree live on the same side of the room, and Kristen lives right on the other side. Um, so um, I know I spend a lot of time in the living room doing homework, and Kristen, Kristen more so likes to be in her room, but it's literally, if I have a question, I just get up and I knock on her door, and I'm like, Kristen, and I pop my head in. Um, we work on homework together when we can. Um, I mean, we can all the time, but like, if we're not understanding something, we work on it together, which is awesome. So having those two, having Melina and Bree as teammates as well as roommates makes it a lot easier because you know that you can kind of relate with them and they, they feel your pain some days of trying to get work done. And it's, it's definitely nice to have that kind of support that really understands what you're going through and having that back and forth to be able to help each other out. 
Well, I think that um, the Elite Nine award was awesome to win. I think that just I've had a lot of academic awards um, in my time here, and so just. I think that at the end of the day, if I'm like really stressed about school, I just have to sit back and be like, you're, you're fine, you're gonna be fine. I've been doing the right things and I have people to help me along the way here, which has been the best part. Coach B was very straightforward early on and promoting me to pursue whatever I wanted. And that was something that really jumped out to me about Maryland and what I loved about their program is that it wasn't just about you as a basketball player, it was about you as a person, you pursuing your passions and setting yourself up for a successful life beyond basketball. I don't know exactly if I'm gonna go right to med school, um, if I'm gonna to try to pursue more basketball, um, what exactly is gonna occur, but um, I'm just really trying to focus right now on this next month, um, enjoying um, the team and this atmosphere because it's never gonna be like this again. You're never gonna to get to be a part of a, um, a Final Four team again. I'm never gonna be able to be able to be on a college basketball team a part of such an amazing program and experience and with all these people so just trying to cherish my teammates and the time that I have left um, a part of the Maryland program.